May I ask the Minister of State for the Home Department what steps he is being he is taking to reduce the overcrowding at the Manston Asylum Processing Facility? And also, could he make a statement about the safeguarding of minors, both at Manston and in hotels? Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, we have set out on multiple occasions the global migration crisis is playing an unprecedented strain on our asylum system. Despite what they may have been told by many, migrants who travel through safe countries should not put their lives at risk by making the dangerous and illegal journey to the United Kingdom. We are steadfast in our determination to tackle those gaming the system and will use every tool at our disposal to deter illegal migration and disrupt the business model of people smugglers. So far this year, our French colleagues have prevented over 29,000 crossings and destroyed over 1,000 boats. Furthermore, my right hon. Friend, the Prime Minister, will be speaking with President Macron this week about how together we can achieve our shared ambition to prevent further crossings. Some 40,000 people have crossed the Channel on small boats so far this year, and the Government continues to have a statutory responsibility to provide safe and secure accommodation for asylum seekers who would otherwise be destitute. In order to meet that responsibility, we have had to keep people for longer than we would have liked at our processing facility at Manston. But we have been sourcing more bed spaces with local authorities and in contingency accommodation, such as hotels. I can tell the House that as of 8 a.m. this morning, the population at the Manston facility was back below 1,600. This is a significant reduction from this point last week.